What if Tanjiro was also turned into a demon in the first episode itself? Would he become a demon slayer and master sun breathing regardless? Can he kill Muzan much earlier than he does in the original series? The answers will be sure to surprise you. Tanjiro would be a coal burner at the start of the series. As he tries to set off to sell charcoal, he is stopped by his siblings who insist he should stay with them on New Year. Finally yielding, Tanjiro stays with them that fateful night. Muzan attacks them, but he notices Tanjiro's potential in trying to fight back. Reminded of how powerful Kokoshibo becomes, added to the family resemblance, he turns the bloodied Tanjiro into a demon to wipe out the demon slayers for good this time. He turns Nezuko into a demon as insurance, hoping she'd kill Tanjiro if he betrayed him. Tanjiro wakes up as a demon, hungry and in an uncontrolled frenzy. After thrashing about for some time, he sees his slaughtered family and remembers Muzan's actions. Starting to develop mental resistance to the demonification, he attempts to save Nezuko. She attacks him, but he is easily able to pin her down. The two demons are found by Giyu, who immediately goes in for the kill. Realizing the difference in strength, Tanjiro kneels down and begs to be given a chance to reclaim their humanity. He tells Giyu about Muzan, what had transpired and his thirst for revenge. A skeptical Giyu sends word to Kagaya Ubuyashiki via his crow. Ubuyashiki notices the significance of the siblings and sends both Rengoku and Shinobu to retrieve them. The Hashira arrive and whisk them away to HQ. Demon Tanjiro and Nezuko arrive before Ubuyashiki at Demon Slayer HQ. He tells the Hashira about how the siblings had already met Muzan and how Tanjiro was able to control himself all on his own. He firmly believes the siblings are key and finally defeating Muzan, because now they can fight fire with fire owing to the powerful Demon Slayer lineage of the Kamados. Sanemi is skeptical and does the blood test, but Tanjiro is able to resist after a bit of struggle and declares that he'll take revenge on Muzan. Ubuyashiki sends for Urukodaki to come to HQ to rehabilitate Nezuko who still lacked control. He appoints Giyu, Rengoku, and Sanemi to Tanjiro's training. Urukodaki starts the hypnotic training on Nezuko as she sleeps, slowly developing her own resistance to demonification. Meanwhile, Giyu teaches Tanjiro basic swordsmanship and builds up his strength. A key difference is that Demon Tanjiro doesn't learn water breathing, but learns flame breathing directly from Rengoku who notices his affinity to fire. Sanemi mostly just hangs around to kill Tanjiro if he goes berserk for whatever reason. His training proceeds considerably faster mostly indoors and during the night. After grasping the basics of fire breathing, Tanjiro is sent to the final selection with Sanemi secretly tailing him. He sustains less injuries as he finishes the trail, meeting Zenitsu, Inosuke, Kanao, and Genya at the end. While everyone is weary of him, Zenitsu notices a deep kindness in him regardless. They all run the at HQ, where a fully rehabilitated Nezuko greets them happily. Zenitsu falls for her as usual, followed by Inosuke challenging Tanjiro to a fight. Ubuyashiki congratulates them, telling the three demon slayers to team up but always be accompanying a Hashira on major missions. As he fought many demons, Tanjiro's thirst for revenge has overcome with determination to return both himself and Nezuko to humans. Seeing this, Ubuyashiki has the siblings meet Tamayo at HQ. Tamayo resolves to help turn them both back to human, asking for their blood samples for experiments. Accompanied by Shinobu, Tanjiro takes on the spider family at Mount Natagumo. Here, they build up their teamwork as well as Nezuko's capabilities as a support for her brother. She awakens her demon blood art while Tanjiro performs the Hinokami Kagura for the first time, sustaining far less injuries as usual. Curious about the Hinokami Kagura, the group joins Rengoku aboard the Mugen train. Tanjiro's regenerative abilities are on par with Nezuko at this point and they defeat Enmu after overcoming his dreams. Akaza experiences a severe disadvantage versus both Rengoku and Tanjiro, all while trying to convince the two to join Muzan. While Tanjiro isn't at Kizuki level yet, he is more than a proficient support for a Hashira. Akaza enjoys the fight regardless, being forced to flee at daybreak. When Goku does not die and he promises to research the Hinokami Kagura for Tanjiro afterwards. The group joins Azoi in his conquest of the Entertainment District. Muzan had learned about Demon Tanjiro becoming a Demon Slayer via Akaza and sends Daki and Gyutaro to finish him off. The Demon Slayers are triumphant once more, as Tanjiro also awakens his Demon Blood Art. This ability allows him to envelop his sword in his own blood and set it ablaze, dealing impactful blows that disrupt Demon's regenerative prowess. When Goku digs up some information on sun breathing and relays it to Tanjiro. While the information is still incomplete, Ubuyashiki tells them that the grayed out parts will reveal themselves along the way. After fighting the Yorichi doll, Tanjiro progressively unlocks more memories about the original user of sun breathing. Muzan sends Hantengu and Ryoko to kill the siblings, now accompanied by Mitsuri and Muichiro. After the tough battle that ensues, pushing even Tanjiro to the limit, the Demon Slayer emerge victorious. Only Nezuko manages to conquer the sun though. Muzan comes after both Tanjiro and Nezuko, ending up in the Ubuyashiki Shiki Mansion. Here, he starts battling all the Demon Slayers in succession. Tamayo's initial attempts feel similar to the original story, but the Tanjiro and Giyo vs Akaza fight goes much smoother. Able to regenerate most of his wounds and have almost mastered sun breathing at this point, 
Tanjiro makes it back to the Transform Muzan much faster. The Demon King coaxes Tanjiro to join him, but Tanjiro reaffirms his determination to enact revenge and save humankind from demons once and for all. The remainder of the Demon Slayers fight Muzan to the death, while Demon Tanjiro who has mastered Sun Breathing sustains much less damage and deals more fatal blows to Muzan. Using the Solar Halo Dragon Head Dance, Raging Sun and Sunflower Thrust, he manages to pin down Muzan with everyone's help until the sun rises. Muzan has a much easier time entering Demon Tanjiro and making him go berserk. He attacks everyone, leaving almost all of them incapacitated. Nezuko arrives in time to hold him down, giving Kanao a chance to inject him with the medicine. In his mind, Tanjiro faces off against Muzan one last time, stating that he conquered his demon side a long time ago. With the help of all his allies, he states that he no longer thirsts for revenge, but aspires to live a happy life as a human beside his loved ones now. He erases the last traces of Muzan for good and reawakens as a human. In the aftermath, Tanjiro enters a long cycle of normal human healing. All the body parts he had heavily regenerated as a demon has undergone severe aging, leaving some parts virtually useless. Unbothered by these losses, he laments his fallen allies instead. After making a full recovery, he returns to his old home with his new family. And there you have it! What do you think about this version of the story? Coincidentally, are you curious about what would happen if Tanjiro activated his Demon Slayer mark when he was still a kid? If so, go click on this video to find out!